Howdy my little franken monkeys, tis time for another comment show and this time I'll be reviewing the comments for my hacking CD-ROM drives into a CNC machine part 2. If you haven't seen that video yet, then clicking here is a thing that you should do. Alright, let's see what wise comments of righteousness and truth you all had to say. This comment is a lie. This response is the truth. Is it possible to do the exact same thing just with bigger motors and a bigger bed? Absolutely. Printers and scanners are a very good option that have a large sliding axis. Hmm. Wouldn't it be interesting to take a printer that used to print images and turn it into a CNC draw bot that draws images? Printers are old, bro. They're so last year. Words of wisdom. Oh, great masters. I want to see a part three with a drill added onto it. You mean like this one? Motor driver detail or link, please. You mean like this one? My goal is to take both of those suggestions and turn them both into videos, eventually. My thought was that doing two videos on the same topic in a row was probably enough. However, if you guys would like me to continue this series in the next few videos, then let me know in the comments. And if you're sick of this topic and are ready to move on to a new topic, let me know that as well. Motor driver detail or link, please. It's called an Easy Stepper Motor Driver, and you'll soon be able to buy one at my Tinkernut.com store. Or you could just Google it and buy it wherever. I'm a terrible salesman. Can I use an Adafruit Motor Shield instead of that? You could, but that only supports two stepper motors, which means you can only control the X and Y axes. But if you're doing a project such as a laser cutter that doesn't require a Z-axis, then that should work fine. I don't think this platform would have enough torque or power to drill and mill. You can easily stall a CD drive with your hand. That's very true. The torque on these motors is really bad, and unless you have it going really, really slow, it'll probably stall out before you are able to drill a hole in anything. What kind of build volume does this thing have? It's about one inch or two and a half centimeters. All right guys, thanks very much for all the comments and remember to let me know if you want me to continue with this series or if you're ready to move on to a different topic. Thanks again for the feedback and I'll see you guys next week.